Hello and welcome to part 6 of my CNC router build. Today I'll be testing the router and making a pair of speakers. All in all, I'm pretty happy with this CNC, although there are a few things that I would have done differently if I could do it all again. The machine is able to cut a bunch of different materials, like wood, aluminum and iron. I used Fusion 360 to model the speaker and create the tool paths. And here you can see the machine cutting the wood. At first I'm using a 6mm 2 flute end mill. I forgot how weak MDF is, so the board broke. Not a big issue though, because I can fix it. Here I have screwed everything down to the bed. This is much better. I stopped using the 6mm end mill and started using these 3mm straight flute end mills instead. They work much better. As you can see, the end mill is burning the wood. This may be because I'm using too many RPMs. I could maybe fix it by doing 4000 millimeters per minute instead of only 2000. Here you see all the pieces after they've been cut out. It's now time to glue everything together, but I'm not gonna show that because I have no idea what I'm doing. Here you can see what I came up with. And I must say everything fit together perfectly. The machine has done a pretty damn good job. The speaker units fit perfectly. The terminals are mounted. The wires are soldered onto the speaker units and the base ports are added. Since I later will be adding a subwoofer to this system, I wanted to use one of these amplifiers that had a subwoofer output. Sadly none of them worked properly, so I'll have to use this crappy 2 channel amplifier for now.
speakers are decent, but more importantly, the CNC is really good. I will probably be doing a bunch of upgrades to make it even better. And as I end this video, here is a quick video clip of the CNC drilling holes in some iron.